Hey guys, I'm Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And today I'm going to be using these two Apollo class ships and two Miranda class uh, vessels to battle the Klingons. And I know it looks like I have a lot of cram point left over, but, well, you're right, I do. But I'm gonna, just going to leave it that way because I want to use just these ships. I don't want anything more expensive or less expensive. I'm curious how these ships will do. So if I hit engage, you will see that we are going to be battling the Klingons at Terex. And uh, we're in all eras, so they're going to choose ships from well, all eras, obviously. Uh, there's five respawns. I have this uh, group of Klingons on AI hard. Don't know why. Probably not necessary. But I'm going to see how I'm going to do. And you will see too. Sharon standing by. Kiss with the Charon. Ajax. That dude. By. Miranda standing by. That dude. Plato standing by. And that dude. So we're gonna take these ships and we're gonna charge at the nearest possible thing, which Klingon is ship spotted. that. We're gonna die. Okay. I mean, no, we're not gonna die. What am I saying? Engaging target. Moving into attack position. I do not think that we can take on a ravenous class. And there is a ravenous class back there. Will be the last thing you ever see again. Our shields are low, Captain. Our shields are down. Veranda is deplete. We're taking a beating. Huh. Veranda. Well, that went well. All hands abandoned ship. Clear on ships detected. Okay. Okay. Captain, New, plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. Captain. New plan. Captain Hull integrity is severely compromised. New plan. She can't take much more of this, Captain. New plan. We've lost antimatter containers. Okay. Proceeding to warp. Karen, Worst by. things have happened. Our shields can't take many more hits, Captain. Captain, they've taken our shields. Captain, hull integrity is severely compromised. Proceed to and warp. Warp. Right on, stand anywhere by. but that. In phaser range, Captain. Klingon ships detected. No, let's not go back there. Let's go back there. Moving into attack position. Uh, okay. Target that guy. Okay. So now that we are running away from the Klingon fleet. Oh, actually, I'm running parallel to them. We should be able to assist the Federation, and we sh won't have to blow up every 10 seconds. Isn't that nice? And that is a next generation air ship, K-32. Moving into attack position. Enemy vessel detected. And there is a Ravenous class over there. Which is also nice. Not really. But it's what it is. Whether it's nice or not. Now, where are the torpedoes? Are they on top or below? Hmm. There they are. Yeah, well, okay, they're below the saucer. It's hard to tell sometimes. Now, if we could take out the Ravnus class, that would be fantastic. Attack because, you know, that's a huge ship. Well, let's take out position. the shipyard, too, while we're at it. Moving into attack position. We've destroyed the target. There we go. Moving into attack position. Hopefully we can hit the Raptor Moving Refit and take it out. Even though the very first ship we targeted was a Raptor Refit, that didn't work too well. Uh, I might be wrong, but that might be a next generation era vessel. Because I heard it's a uh, disruptor sound, and they sound like next like uh, like next generation uh, Klingon disruptors. I'm not sure though. And look at that, we aren't losing all of our ships every three seconds or so. And some torpedoes for you. And follow up with the phasers. Yeah, if they ever hit, that'd be nice. Thank you. Engaging target. Okay, this is Moving winnable. To attack position. Kind of. All not away. I don't know why my Apollo class was trying to take on Terrence that Ravenous. Right. Although it looks really cool, so I'm gonna do it. Klingon vessels on approach. Yeah, take that. Take that. Take all of that. This thing is just wrecking it, Ravnus. Look at that. All that damage is totally from just this thing. Okay, that, that was pretty fast, I'll admit. That was like lightning quick the way that thing died. Next target. Over here. 
If I could actually shoot. There we go. And hope the right over here. Is that whole plant made of lava? No, oh, that's a gas giant, but look at that thing. It's like red and orange. Looks like it's on, it's on fire. Okay, man. Power class, you can do it. You can do it. Who cares about shields when you have torpedoes? Ow. There it goes. And another ravenous class. And the weird uh, damage glitch just showed up. That's nice. Torpedo make them think twice about attacking the Federation. I don't know about you guys, but this nebula is hard for me to look at. Look at all that dust. So green. There we go, we're out of it. Right, a few more good hits, and this guy will be dead. And we are victorious! See, we didn't lose. I knew that the whole time. That we weren't gonna lose. So, uh, four kills for myself. I lost three ships. Our allies got 14 kills, so clearly I'm the better uh, uh, player there, because, uh, you know, no. Our allies had all the kills and all the points because they had better ships than I did. Sadly, Mirandas and Apollos just aren't that powerful, especially when you're fighting things like Mirandas and K-32... Not, not Mirandas, what am I saying? When you're fighting things like Ravenous-class ships and K-32s and those uh, type of ships. But, uh, we did win, and that is the good positive thing about this. So, if you like this battle, in which I was victorious, and if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If you did not like this video, I do apologize for that. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that you guys enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, also leave a comment about that in the comment section. I will read those and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I'll see you next time.